Hi everyone. I had one of those padded envelopes from Amazon and I took it all apart. I'm going to use it as a journal cover because I'm going to make a journal for a friend of mine. Now this is the end part. You can see it's kind of flappy there. I did put some glue in there just to kind of hold it down. This is going to be the outside. That'll be my spine area. This edge to there's, I don't know, half an inch or so. I think that's a good enough spine. I'm probably going to wind up covering the whole outside with fabric, so you won't even be able to see this anymore, and more than likely I'm going to stitch it. So if it's not stuck down with glue at the moment, it doesn't really matter. I had a good sized chunk of this fabric. I make the cover with it. And it was not super particular, but that's approximately an inch and a half all the way around the cut up envelope. I put some starch on the piece of fabric because it was kind of wrinkly, and then I pressed it so now it's nice and flat. Put the envelope back kind of in the center. I'm going to just tack it down so that it doesn't move around while I sew it. Sometimes the glue's a bit tricky to get out. And my apologies for the shadows on this. It's actually kind of good. It's raining today, but it does make everything a little bit more hard to see and shadowy and stuff when it's gloomy outside. Uh, there we go. That should do it. I'll let that dry. I don't want to have a gap up here with any paper showing, so I folded the corner right up to the edge of the paper. If it if the paper folds over a smidge, it doesn't really matter. But try to get it as close as you can, and then just run your finger across it. I'm going to put a little dab of glue there, just to kind of stick it down. Hold it until I sew it. And then I'm also going to fold up the edges, one like that, one like that. But like so. It doesn't exactly meet in the corner, but it'll be good enough for my purposes. I think it'll turn out okay. And there won't be any paper showing, and the corner looks like that. I sew just around the very inside edge of the fabric, just to make sure it was firmly tacked down. I've had this paper pack for a while. I got it at one of the dollar stores. It has sort of old-fashioned kind of pictures, like this book one that I was going to use, the alphabets, magnifying glasses, I pulled that out, old cameras, that sort of thing. So I think what I'm going to do for the middle papers is I'm going to use this book one. It's pretty much good to go. The dimensions of my cover are slightly over tw uh, 12 and a quarter high. And then to my middle, which I have marked with a little mar marking pen. It's one of those ones that goes away with heat, so it'll disappear eventually. That one is, what do we got here? This one is uh, just, just shy of eight and a half. So if I put this one like this... Sorry about all the glare and my shadow and everything. Scoot this down a bit so you can see. Right about to the end there. I'm going to cover up the paper, but not go right to the edge. And I'll make a mark, <coughs> excuse me, right about at my pencil line that I drew either side of my mark. It's about an inch. It, I'm going to cover it with something in the middle eventually, but I just want to make the paper is big enough. So I'll mark it about there and go over across to there. Cut it there. I think as far as up and down it should be pretty good. I might take a smidge off the top just because it's raggedy and looks like crud. 
And for the magnifying glasses, I'm going to put them on this side. And I want this way. I kind of want the big one in the middle. That's yeah, going to be close. Okay, let's mark it. To keep the big one in the middle. We'll mark it there. And over there. And that's where I'll cut it. I've got all the pages in the journal now. The inside covers are just stuck down with some glue. And I just folded up the big 12 by 12s in different fashion. I used a manila folder for part of it. I just left that blank. I'll probably put some decor on some of this. My friend that is going to get this likes to just write stuff down about her travels in her RV with her hubby and her projects and stuff. So I'm not really going to make like pockets or tucks or anything. I'm just going to decorate it a bit. So you can see the different bits of paper I use. This is just some old slightly tea dyed stuff I had kicking around. Kill it off. And I tied up the binding with, um, that's embroidery floss. One of the DMC colors, 3054, I think. Anyway, I used the full six strands. And I used my, a big darning needle. It used to be my grandma's. It was nice and sturdy. And I just tied it really tight into the bow. So, you can see. Some of it's kind of bare. So I'll put a bit of decor on it. But it's pretty standard. I think this camera paper is cool. And for the end, the other side of the manila folder had the writing on of the, t of the brand name and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So I went through my Harry Potter, um, I think they're 8x10. They're like heavy cardstock. I did use it from my niece's journal. And I picked out some that weren't necessarily Harry Potter, but they had books on them. Just to cover it up so it wouldn't have branding on it. And a bit of decor. There we go. I'll show you all it after I decorate it. All I really tried to do is define the pages a little bit by putting like a tag thing here. It kind of goes with the brown and then I took brown pen and just blobbed along a little bit, some dots. It's kind of hard to see on the white paper. This camera's not super good at going close, but you get the idea. This piece of manila folder has a bit of the magnifying glass paper on it, just to show the edge of it. There's still plenty of room to write. The other side is loads of room and one of these JP coats stickers on it, just because she likes to do projects. Some of the stickers I used are puffy, like this one, and I left the rest plain. Who cares if it's folded over? Whatever. On this page, I did little gray hearts with pen, top and bottom. This one's plain. On this one, I put puffy keys, because this has locks on it. Thought it looked kind of cute. And because of the flowers here, I put a flower there, and some pen marks. Again, more pen marks and a couple flowers. This I left plain. And on this side, I put some pink and green pen squiggles just around the edge to show it up better. This has just a bit more pen on the side of it. Again, just to mark the edge a little bit. Here in the middle. This piece was cut off the rest of the books at the front, so I just stuck it on there to show the edge. This can be written on too, so can that. The whole thing can be written on. I put a little sticker down here and some pen marks all around. A bit more of the magnifying glass paper. Left that plain. More puffy stickers and some black pen marks. I think that camera paper's cool. On this, I used some book fabric that I had from, I did that bookcase coat for my sister-in-law. This was the backing. I had a bit left, and I had this blue tag that kind of goes with the color. On this piece of the tea dye, I put a little bit of border and another one of those tag thingies. And the back is just plain. Those are bothly decorated. And to show this was actually a page different, I put a little piece of fabric on there. And otherwise, the back part's just plain. So, there you have it.